Well, what just happened? Something happened. Can you hear me? Oh, testing, testing. Want to, want to, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Huh. What have you been talking about the recording? <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's do the pause. Okay. Woo! Oh, yeah. What's my do? Yeah, Mr. Beast um, video. I'm reacting to it. I think I'll be keeping this mic down from time. Because it's too heavy, man. This is a heavy mic. The blue something, whatever mic. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. It's heavy. It should have, I think it has a stand somewhere. I don't know I kept chopped it. Let's do this with a big reaction video. Try to blow up a yacht. If, if we save the yacht, you keep it. You know the story. You know the story. So just let's watch. Don't explain too much. <laughs> the only catch is, I'm going to do everything in my power to destroy it. And it's up to you to protect it from attacks like 100 cannonballs, massive explosives, and so much more. You got to be kidding me. And you have exactly 24 hours to build defenses for your brand new yacht. Time has started. Good luck. All right, dude. Let's see if this yacht sinks. Sean, using my credit card, immediately bought a bunch of supplies and began building his defense against phase one. 100 cannon shots. Run me through your plan. My plan is to build a giant wall angled to hopefully block the cannon fire. And after working all throughout the night, into the next morning, and all the way through a complete 24 hours, Sean was going to have... The time is up! Come on, you have unlimited, like, seriously. Oh. Why can't you just hire... Is there a limit, like, is there a ban on hiring, like, 50, 50 people to work, like, for you immediately? Getting 50 people to help you work, like, Because <laughs> mm. they are not just protecting against this, they are protecting against the other projectiles, even though you have a little bit of time, but if you create the perfect defense mechanism, you already help. Let's go shoot some cannons. Will his defense protect watch. his new yacht from a hundred cannonballs, or will we start this video over with a new contestant? Phase one of four has begun. I'm nervous. All right, Sean, we're about to fire the cannons at your new yacht. Terrifying. Aim the cannon. Fire! <laughs> I do, Mary. Oh, oh, that's just going right through. Dude, it is ripping through those storage containers. The cannons were melting through his defense like butter. I'm toast, man. I feel like I lost yeah. a little piece of my soul. And probably a piece of your yacht. Video ending friendly. Is it good to have not contest on? I think this guy is gone. The cannons gone. were already damaging Sean's yacht, and we're just getting started. These cannons are tearing me up. She's a goner. I guarantee it just went straight through. We kept firing cannon after cannon, ripping through Sean's defense. These cannons are way more hardcore than I thought they were. And after a torturous three hours... Somehow, God, I hope my yacht isn't shredded. Sean's yacht <laughs> actually survived. You have a tiny hole and it hit a rail. Dude, bro, a cannonball hit right here. But that was only the least of the damage. No. The ba I thought this guy's locker. This yacht is real mid. Bathroom in Sean's yacht was completely destroyed. Look at that mirror right there. Three cannonballs hit your yacht, and you nearly survived phase one. I'll take it. Three out of a hundred, it's pretty good. No, I need you to take phase two more seriously. Okay. And if you don't think I'm being serious, I'll just show you. Bring out the bomb! In 24 that's hours, that's those 15 C-bombs will explode around your yacht. Oh, yeah. no. And by that's the way, mine. we tested these things before the video. They are extreme. Those are mines, right? Sea mines or ocean mines. I don't know how you call them. Really powerful. 15 big booms in a circle around this thing. How am I going to protect this? I'm going to go hit the hay in a yacht surrounded by bombs. Come back fresh in a couple hours. Sean got up the next morning and immediately got to work. But because of the severe thunderstorm, he couldn't use his crane. This is brutal. We're doing everything today by hand. How are you going to pad up the yacht? Mattresses. That's right. Sean's big plan is mattresses. And his workers bought every mattress in town. All of those mattresses will start ferrying them back and forth. 
There we go. All the way around. Every inch. I can't even tell this is a yacht anymore. It just looks like a bunch of mattresses. In two hours, we blow up the mines, and he hasn't really done as much as I thought. Jeez, you know how much easier this would be with the crane? You know how much easier this would be if it wasn't in water? Yes. Box chicken! This is not looking good. I don't think his yacht's gonna survive. Three, two, one, time's up! That's all I'm gonna get. So he has some mattresses and water jugs. Carl, can you cover his ears? This might be the most hideous thing I've ever seen. What I'm getting from you is you don't think this is gonna work. If the yacht sinks, any last words? Can I have the hat? I will give you my hat if your yacht survives, all right? Three, two, one, blow it up! We'll be fucking too, but this survive. I think it's survive if not the video they would have made the video right or would they bring an art context out and start an art competition to complete the video because video styles looks more like 10 minutes a minute yeah that's what i'm saying Good. Yeah. She's still standing. We did it. Yeah. Just time. burned the mattresses. That's right. I'm not sure what to say. Somehow these mattresses were actually a very effective defense against the mines. In front of us is phase three. This attack consists of three different levels. We're going to be launching a million fireworks straight at your yacht, followed by a barrage of flaming arrows a level higher, and finally catapults launching flaming death balls from the sky. And by now, Sean's build strategies were getting pretty efficient. He gave his crew orders. Yeah, let's go ahead and get those containers moved into place for phase three. Then got some much needed rest while they worked. Now it's <laughs> What to do with these containers? Containers are empty now. They're just, there's nothing inside. They're just thin paper. Like, things go through them. They're not even stronger than most. They just, they have the illusion of safety, but they're not really that safe. to trebuchets, fireworks, and flaming arrows. What is your plan? My plan is to basically get more shipping containers and build a giant wall. And I'm basically just hoping that that wall will be tall enough to block the fireworks and the flaming catapult debris from hitting the yacht. That's so sketch. This whole thing is so sketch. Today's my day. I'm feeling it. I'm hard. Hard confidence now. Okay. Compared to phase two, this is insane. You really stepped it up. Yeah, man. You went from a pathetic build that let multiple cannonballs through to this, which I actually think might work. He's currently taking lake water, flushing it through sprinklers to wet his mattresses. All right, we're about to go inspect his defenses. Now a bad time to tell you guys I'm afraid of heights. This is a 40 foot tall, solid wall. When we fling the catapults, they're gonna fly over the shipping containers where I'm at and hopefully hit his yacht, right? Nah. You're gonna miss. Hey, Taylor, envision you're a catapult with giant flaming balls. I got you. Ready, aim, fire! That's the yep. one. Dead hit! Yeah! Your boat's going down! Oh shit. Not gonna happen! Oh, All right, shit. so why are you so confident? You have 30 seconds where you could be building and you're doing nothing. We're ready. It's covered up. I built the wall. Everything's wet back there. Do we even need to wait 20 seconds? No. Let it rip. Let's do it. Time's up. Phase three is upon us. Catapults. Flaming arrows and a million fireworks. Let's see if his yacht lights on fire. Ready the firework? Any last words? Good luck. Fire the fireworks! Oh, oh my god! That doesn't look real, Will! That is wild! Oh my god! How is it? How is it doing that? And while these pretty fireworks are going off, I'm gonna tell you about Bloons Tower Defense 6. Loon's Tower Defense is a game I've actually been playing since I was a teenager. Oh my God. So they look impressive, right? But I have a feeling fireworks are not that, like they are more dangerous when they are in enclosed spaces. 
Like if they go off side and they close space like side the yard, so have more it, have more damage than going out. Like I don't know. I've never played the fireworks, so I have no idea. Just my assumption. I used to literally play this in English class when I was 15. Dude, I see smoke on his yacht! And they're back with their sixth installment of the game, Bloons Tower Defense 6. Oh my god! How is it? How is it? And if you've never played Balloon Tower Defense, basically you defend yourself against the balloons by placing monkey towers and heroes on the map. I want to celebrate something oh right now. Look at this, bro. You're hitting his yacht! Oh, Now it's time for a thousand flaming arrows! Because of the sponsor, the next thing we're flinging are balloons. On fire. Here we go! Basically flaming bowling balls. Fire no! There it goes! That's going straight for his yacht! Oh, they hit the shipping container right by his yacht. Let's go, baby! Now, if you buy anything in-game, use Mr. Beast in the supporter creator code if you want to support me and help me do more videos like this. Make sure you download yo, the yo, Tower yo. Defense Safe. If you download it right now, you can get a Mr. Beast pack for free. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, what are those oh. Dude, his boat is exposed. John, I'm feeling worried for you right now, bro. I'm still feeling good. I think I'm good. This is a heavy balloon. Dude, this looks nothing like a balloon. You just don't look at enough balloons. The defenses right. are falling. Oh. Let it rip! And if just one of these catapult shots oh, no. lands on Sean's yacht, oh. This whole video might be over. That was a little closer than I that thought it was going to be. Fire the final catapult! Oh, that's a direct hit. Oh! <laughs> the only thing burnt today is me, boys. <laughs> There's many one more. All right, you know what? Sean, you might be laughing now, but you are not ready for this final phase. In 24 hours from now, we will be attacking your yacht with a barrage of machine guns. Any questions about phase four? Ah. In addition to every single phase so far in this video combined, the fireworks, the catapults, the arrows, the 100 Cannons. You have a hundred more cannonballs? And rather than a bunch of bombs, this giant monstrosity, borderline nuclear missile, questionably even legal, island flattening sea mine. All of that on top of machine guns? Yeah. <laughs> Today is phase four of the challenge. The general plan is to just put a ton of stuff between my yacht and the up and coming attacks. We're gonna use the remaining crates to try to block any cracks the bullets might get through. That container is just perfectly placed for this outside perk. Can the crates stop bullets? I'm sorry, can the crates really stop bullets? Can they? Can they? I might just ask him. Just, I, I'm seriously asking. Can crates stop? They're like cars now, they just go through. Well, actually, in Hollywood, I need to stop bullets. <laughs> Use as much dirt as we can to create an impact barrier right in front of the wall where the cannons are gonna shoot. And since the giant bomb can be sent from behind, I'm just gonna do what I can with the time remaining and close the back with water-filled barrels. This challenge is tough. I mean, I'm, I'm away from home, missing the family, and the water element makes everything so difficult because you can't just walk out to the boat and put stuff on it. It's made it so difficult. That bomb has me nervous. He has multiple layers of metal shields for the machine guns, a mountain of sand, and a bunch of other stuff to stop the cannons. He still has the tall wall for the projectiles and the soaked mattresses. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody stop! Time is up. I think this has all been a bad dream. No, this is real life. Even though it's my job to destroy your yacht, I genuinely hope you win this thing. Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a boat like this. I just gotta get through this final phase and we're home free. When you think about it, 100 hours ago, there was just a boat. And now, there's all of this. I don't know how you did it. You nervous? No, no. That makes literally no sense whatsoever. This final phase may just be your worst nightmare. Ready your weapons! On top of all these machine guns, we have 100 cannons, 
a giant mine, the equivalent of all 15 from earlier, all of the fireworks, arrows, and catapults all together in one final phase. shot the fireworks stand and caused this to happen. Well, it looks like you right. the full package. Hey, what is going on? I'm going to be honest with you, Sean. I don't think your yacht's going to make it. But I think it's time for the next day. Prepare the cannons! Let's see if you've learned your lesson from the last time we fired these cannons. Fire! Nope. That's not what it is. It's actually scaring me now. Although one of the cannonballs hit his yacht, the crate and mound of dirt were able to stop the rest of the impacts. And his defense against my flaming catapults were so effective, he even caught a burning death ball. Yeah. I caught it! Wait, did that land in the shipping container? At the rate we're going, this is gonna take all night. I think we just send everything all at once. I want you to launch cannons, fireworks, arrows, catapults, everything at the same time. Three, two, one! Yeah. Fire everything! we have on your yacht but like every youtube video i've ever done we're saving the best for last or in your case the worst for last we took the 14 c-bombs from earlier in this video combined them into one mega c-bomb and it's currently on an rc boat heading directly to blow up your yacht this explosion is going to be massive all right there she goes there she goes You know I can say Mr. Beast is nice, right? You could have followed the other way, you followed where the containers and the that no, was just that would be kinda of been nice. Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Bro. Dude! Let's go see if it's Let's there. go check it out. Let's go see my yacht! Look at everything his yacht endured. I've done a lot of weird things. I've never experienced something like this before. You didn't say it had to be pretty. And after all of that, your yacht is still floating, but it does look like some stray bullets and cannonballs made it through. Yeah. So, boys, bring it up. Here's $50,000 yes! so you can actually repair this yacht. Yes! Before we end the video, they're going to want to know, what is the name of your brand new yacht? Its name is... And if you're wondering, yes, we did ensure the lake was completely cleaned up after this video. For the love of God, subscribe so we can pass T series. Man, I give the guy fifty thousand dollars to actually. Wow. Repair insurance and sell. That's what we do, right? Repair. Pay for the insurance. I don't. How do people do it over there? I think I might pay for insurance after repairing and sell it. But wow. Actually, auction that as a Mr. Beast and um, yeah, that survive. Also, to other YouTubers, there are some YouTubers that will buy it seriously, not even to repay it. There are some YouTubers that will buy it like that also for their own video. Trust me, I know that's a fact. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm watching this video. I'm going to do that once. Peace out.